Welcome back to part 2 of the podcast of Lashwin. In this segment of the podcast, we discuss about psychology and why he dives into psychology, although his career is chemical engineering. So you find out a lot more about what he does beyond his job and how he will transition to the third segment. So I do hope you guys have been enjoying the first part and I hope you enjoy the second and the third part. If you like the video, like. If you have something to say, comment. If you haven't, subscribe. Enjoy the second part of Lashwin's podcast. <clears throat> Let me do a quick introduction of part two. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Lashwin. So we are, we were discussing Myers Briggs and we we're discussing about psychology and how we used to go Cameron Highlands a lot and that's when I asked him to do the Myers Briggs test. Have you done the Myers Briggs test? I have forgot the results. Okay, <laughs> it's cool. It's cool because it changes all the time anyway. It's super fucking extensive, one, right? It's mm. a really extensive it's like a twenty long minute long. endeavor. Yes, but yes. the result is probably in your email. Mm-hmm. Ah, true, 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 true. Back, huh? Yeah. Uh, the results will change based on how, like, how you answer it, lah. But your type doesn't actually change. Type. Oh. Yeah, but normally if you take it at work and you take it at home, it's a bit. Oh, it's, it's a, a different bit different. Because mm. mm. you think of a family dynamic versus a working dynamic. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The decisions and the the premise is mm. is important in when you're doing the mind speaks. And on top of that, they even ask you recurring questions where they are like oh, yeah. reverse, just to make sure whether you're like your yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know that thing. Mm. Correct. So, I know this, uh, this whole premise in that sense, but I'm just wondering, is that the trigger <coughs> as to why you kind of went into psychology or is there another reason? Because you were solely focused into this and I remember that's when you started doing your new job as well. Mm-hmm. And then we did all these trips and then suddenly you, you went into reading a lot of psychology. <laughs> you, you went deep bro, like balls deep into this <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm balls deep to the yeah, extent that I, I can actually deep. say I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm an expert on the matter already. Like, but there's no one to certif- certify because no one, sure. no one actually knows what's going on. No, technically you just did a master's also. Uh, in management psychology, yes, but it's, it doesn't, it doesn't really, uh, it's not related to Myers Briggs per se. Uh, okay, a bit of backstory on on Myers Briggs. Mm. It's Myers and Briggs should not be credited for. F- for this personality model. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Bunch of wankers. <laughs> that's kind of an asshole move. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite an asshole. I mean, they, they can take credit, credit for it, but the actual framework and structure came from Carl Jung. Whoa, in 19, what? 1921. So in 1921, he wrote a, a book called Psychological Types, right? Okay. This is the result of him interviewing and, 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 uh, and assessing each of his patients. And he realized that there are eight, eight uh, patterns of problems that keep showing up recurrently, right? Okay. okay? So uh, he realized this pattern and he, he figured out that, okay, so I just need to be a master of these eight, eight, eight <laughs> types of problems, <laughs> right? Yeah. Eight, eight types of problems, right? Uh, eight, eight natures of uh, neurosis, okay? Which, which is actually the, the core of our cognitive framework, Okay. Physically, right? If it affects even like how we see time itself, mm. okay. So it's I, I would say it's not nurture, but it's nature. It's, be, because you can't teach someone to see time in a different way. I'll explain about time uh, okay. in a little bit. But so Carl Jung uh, discovered these eight eight different types of problems, and then he wrote a book on 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 these different <coughs> types of problems. Myers and Briggs took this. And then made it into like a test and things like that. Made it like mainstream. Uh, okay. Who is Myers and who is Briggs? Are they like Isabel Myers and uh, uh, can you Google that? Isabel Myers, Ryan, and Catherine, Briggs. Catherine Briggs, <laughs> Catherine Briggs, Catherine. Cat- is, Catherine. I, I Briggs. hope that's so, with a C. Yeah, they were fans of uh, Jung la and Jung's work. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, Drunk. after after nineteen twenty one, Jung stopped. Uh, being interested in in personality <coughs> and went into like subconscious and conscious Bro, yeah, psyche. I remember okay. that. So inception. after that, he 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 left this like he left it like half half baked, and then he went into like shadow and like anima animus things like that. So like the like the internal psyche, 
the, like mm. internal con- consciousness and things like that. So he left this like half baked lah. And Carl Jung was a student of uh, what's his name again? The guy that talks about Sigmund Freud. Freud. Yeah, mm. the the oh, whole shit. sex thing, right? Sex mm-hmm. drive. <laughs> yes, correct. Can I just say I did not expect Myers and Briggs to be mother and daughter. I also didn't Me expect too. that. A fucking plot twist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So Briggs Okay So they made it mainstream They made it famous They <coughs> they, they originated the 16 types right That's why you have The, the MBTI And, and uh. the 16 different personalities But it all comes from The framework of Of, of Jung, of Jung. Okay. And the understanding of Jung So that's where I <coughs> Get get into more Because Myers and Myers and Briggs Like I, 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 I feel that They are very surface about it okay. without thinking about cognition without thinking about like like frameworks and, and mm. psychological stuff so okay where am I going with this how did I start going into psychology okay. or your passion for it rather how did it <coughs> develop or grow okay so at this point I'm working in AMCOR right and I have a, a degree <coughs> in chemical <coughs> engineering and a master's in safety and reliability and, and engineering two very technical uh, scopes of studies right, right. So, uh, I was thinking of going into more of a non non technical, right? I wanted to see what else is out there, what else like I could possibly be be uh, interested about, uh, right? So, but why? <laughs> but why? I was in a crossroads in my life, right? Okay, so essentially, in what what year was it in? In Amcor, uh, 2017, I think. Uh-huh. 2017, 20, 2018, sorry. So I just like gone through a break breakup. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not a very good one at that, right? So I was not, I was not in a good place. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No worries. It's We've all cool. been there, bro. We've all been there, man. We've all, all, all four of us have been was, there, bro. It, it was so fascinating, right? The, like, like, like me observing myself because, like, when when I was not in this bad place, right? When the breakup just happened, for ten days. I just couldn't eat my normal capacity of food. I could only eat half. Bro, and I found it bro. so I found it so fascinating. But I could sleep normally and things like that, right? Oh man. Right. But in my head I've already gotten over her. Okay? But my body is just not keeping up with the fact. Wow. Is this subconscious? Yeah. Oh. Oh, fuck man. The fact that you're I feeling like shit and then you, you have the time to fucking observe yourself. Yeah. That's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so fascinating, right? Observing yeah. that like my thought process is fine. Right? I'm pretty much gone over it. But like my body is still not, not wanting so to interesting. give in. Uh, not yet. So, okay. So then after this, there's, there's like a void in you, right? You want to fill right. it with something. You yeah. need the park, bro. <laughs> you need the park. Yes. So that's where I started going going to the park more often. Is that when is that when we is that why you went oh, to the park uh, also? Long long, that was long long before. Long, yeah, that's long before. Long before uh. The reason why I go to the no, park is because of Laura. Actually yeah, 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 because of Laura. Yeah. So that's that's a story. We, really? we might get back bro. into that. Has it been on Yamcha session people? No, no, no. No, no, right. no, no, no. <laughs> you don't want it to be on Yamcha session. Actually it's fine, like you talk about it lah. <laughs> Basically we go to the park, right? Every Friday. Because right, that time uh, I like this girl Laura and I went on a date with her. A couple of dates lah. Mm-hmm. That's why she just ghosts me, you know. Yeah. Then I like, so what then the so so can I continue? Okay, please, so, please. So we are sitting at a table <coughs> in Ajima Razim, right? I just got got, got back from uh, UTP, right? From four years in UTP. And we're sitting around at a table, I think that was Bay <laughs> Bay was there. Sean, ah. Bay, Sean, and Sean. Wow. Uh, this is squad, Daniel, man. Daniel. No, it's a tapak squad, lah. What the fuck? Tapak squad. Say, oh, you said OG. Oh, OG squad. For sure. It's a tapak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there, there were other people at the table. Daniel. This was a Saujana reunion with our year, lah. That's why. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 no. It was a smaller gathering than that, John. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I there thought was, it was there were only the like five, six people at the table. Oh, okay. Right? I was sitting here, you were sitting there, and then I think Bay was. Thing. Somewhere, somewhere nearby, like, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, this was I just got back from UTP and like, suddenly John calls me out of nowhere. Right, I don't know anything about Laura at this point. But I will tell uh, everybody about Laura. <laughs> <laughs> so I find out about Laura when I when I get to the table. Right. Okay. So we 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 sit down from like at nine. <clears throat> it, it goes to ten o'clock and then eleven o'clock. Right. And the other guys are like, oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Ciao. At 11, I gotta ciao. Right. 
And then me sitting next to John, I saw John like like I know he just doesn't want to leave. Yeah, <laughs> he just doesn't want to go home and be alone with his thoughts, right? At this point, yeah. <laughs> I was smoking and drinking, and I was just like looking out the window, like oh, this life, this life is fucking bullshit. Man. So and the other guys was like, oh, I got a child, man, I got a child. Bay was like, I got a child. Daniel was like, I got a child. Sean all got a child. And I was like, John, you wanna have a beer? Mm. <laughs> and I was like, he was like, oh, no, lah, no, 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 where to go. So, come, I show you. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, still so we went to the Seven Eleven, right? Just, just like, uh, just on on the same block, the Seven yeah. Eleven. We got a couple of beers, the tall bottle, beer tall bottle sure, beer, sure. and then we went to, uh, we went to, uh, John's Park, lah. Yes. Yeah, and then we talked. Insta Park, yeah. Insta Park. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Yeah, and that's why, lah. Yeah. How the fuck did we get here again? Oh, your breakup, right? So your breakup was brief before Laura, is it? No, it was after. Long it was after, after Laura. Long after Laura. Bro, timeline is just mad, man. It, <laughs> f- it feels like damn long ago, right? We're going to pass for like four, five years, really. Yeah, a lot of this is long time ago. Four, oh, five Laura. years of park, oh, that's, that is quality. Yeah, really. yeah, it's actually crazy because when we go to the park, right? In the beginning, it was me and Kapla. Yeah, it was just me and me and, me and John at first. So that was the beginning of the 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 park. We the right? founders, you know. Yeah, we are in Sata Park. Like that <laughs> moment was the founding of 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 the park sessions. Then we slowly got in. Uh, Ren, Ren, Ren came along. Then it was three hours, and then there was one uh gathering event at the same. That was the Saujana one. Uh? That, that was the oh, Saujana okay. event where Pra was there out of nowhere, and then he was hanging out with like. I don't know. Do, was it Che Ching and Michelle Sia? And I yeah, think, I think yeah, it was a lot, a, a lot, a huge group. Yeah, it was with, a lot of people. With like uh, Ken Sheng and. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, fucker, Ken Sheng studied Italy, bro. That's mad. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mad. Yeah. Okay, so everyone was there, and then like later on in the night, I saw Pra sitting alone and and things like that. And so I asked him, like, who are you hanging out with now? Right. So he said like, oh no, Sassy and Sheros. Sassy and Sheros. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's a big ass throwback. So dude. I don't know lah, right? Like who was he hanging out with? So he told me some stories about how they hang out and things like that, right? Then I told him, you should come to the park lah. Yeah. Oh, this is. And that's why we all go park now. Right? Yeah. So I said, just, just come one time. If you don't like it, then don't come the second time. Until now, he's still coming. Yeah, my man. Five years, bro. Five years. All cause of Laura lah. <laughs> Blessing in disguise. But I understand that feeling of not being able to eat. Oh yeah. Sleep and all that. But you don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. Mm, 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 mm. It doesn't make any sense. You know, it's like there's this control that you lost. You know, and it's then you just give in to that depression. It's it's like, it's like okay, you know what's gonna happen. Right after this, right? Yeah, you you have a out. sense. You have a sense of what's gonna happen, right? Okay, sure. and then this thing happens, right? And now that whatever you imagine is gonna happen after this, boom. Yeah, not pop, you know. Boom, like the vessel. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, whoa! Seven bar is pop. <laughs> this is a boom. My God, how many bars is this, bro? <laughs> But it feels that way. It feels that way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just have no direction to go, right? So there's a void. And you want to fill it up with, with something. You want to have a direction to move forward, right? And a lot of people, this, this is how people get into rebounds, right? You want, you just want something, so you grab anything and it comes along. And then yeah, you, bro, like, you stick your dick anywhere at that yeah, point. Yeah, you stick your right? dick anywhere at that point, yeah. right? So, but if you can control it, right? Don't stick your dick in anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and tough, like, and tough, tough proposition. <laughs> <laughs> tough proposition. <laughs> this void has gravity that will attract something that is meaningful for you. Okay? That's what I think. Oh, fuck. That's perspective way. Mm. For something good to happen, mm. something bad has to happen, then you somehow feel that that loss or emptiness is yep. filled with something new. I mean, you wouldn't go looking for something bad to happen to you. I mean, you, I won't but cut off my arm to have like a prosthetic arm la, yeah, if that's correct. what I'm saying. La, but you yeah, know, metaphorically, yeah. it kind of sort of makes sense. Yeah. So, when, <clears> when something as... 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 Uh, as massive as this happens right it leaves behind a void like 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 a like a like a star that that bursts right a black hole right okay it has gravity right it's gonna pull in something if you're gonna let it pull in a rebound it's not gonna be so useful but if you hold right you'll pull in something that is valuable to you and that's where i found psychology oh okay yeah so i was looking for something to 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 learn 
further, like a direction, right? Right, something to like put work into, right? And then, like for some reason, like psychology came into the picture, and I started from crash course psychology into more Myers Briggs stuff and more specific into personality and how people uh, think, like think and and why people are so different. Mm. Okay, right. And of course, I I have so much technical background before this. I don't have any like human human knowledge, right? Knowledge right. about humans. We so got managed and <coughs> got people, so okay lah. Yeah, 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 correct, correct. <laughs> so, so there's some management there, right? Uh, okay. But this is going into like like the technicality <coughs> of, of of psychological frameworks, you see. So from a technical, and I'm quite a technical guy, lah. I could say. You definitely are. Definitely. Yeah. Are. Yeah. So my approach towards it was. It 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 was technical enough for me to approach it in in a technical sense, mm. right? And that's where I ended up uh, going through a ma- uh, master's in management psychology, and now which is a fun fact, a part time <coughs> thing he was doing for a year. Oh yeah, and he just finished two it. Two years. Two, two years, years, yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. And he just finished it. Congrats, yeah. congrats. Holy fuck, man! Yeah, part time. You know, this he's doing his job, and he's doing his part time master's in psychology. Yeah. When you also writing a book? Yes, he's yeah. also writing a book. <laughs> Yeah, because that's how you do things. <laughs> <laughs> so how how what what gave you the inspiration to do the book? Okay, so the book, oh, the book started quite early as well. Um, what inspired me to do a book was the the lack of structuredness that that Isabel Myers Briggs <laughs> brought brought to the table. <laughs> I sense all hostility <laughs> towards this page, huh? <laughs> I'm dragging their name through the mud. All right, but uh, they made it pop culture and they made it very fun. And they made it very uh, accessible as well. Accessible, yes. No, uh, no. They have a role in it, like like to to bring it to the world in a way that is understandable. Is there? I'm just saying that the the framework and the technical approach is lacking. <coughs> Excuse me. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, the the framework and 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 technicality is lacking. Uh, as and I don't think Jung will be proud of what they have pushed it towards, mm. right? So I tried to look for a book that would explain to me these eight functions of of. of oh, because of he of left, or, I mean, he left yeah. that whole realm. He, he left that realm and he started pursuing <coughs> something else, right? But I wanted something further, like like j- more than psychological types in nineteen twenty one, the book that he wrote, right? Mm. But more in depth into each uh, psychological uh, cognitive function, we call it. it ter- the term is cognitive function, right? So when I realized there's nothing out there to help me, that's why I realized that uh, I gotta be the right, the one to who who writes this lah, right? Fuck. Because I'm balls deep, right? <laughs> I'm balls <laughs> deep. Right? <laughs> I don't think there's ever a moment in my life, right, where I read a book. I read a fair few books mm-hmm. that I've ever thought I'm gonna do one. <laughs> that will outdo all fucking books in this field. No, because it's not there. It's not there in the market. Does that exist? I wanted, yeah. I wanted it. I wanted to have it in hand, and say that okay, if I read this book, right, I can understand all eight, eight, eight cognitive functions, and all the philosophies associated to each function. It will be Carl Jung part two, lah. Basically. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Carl Jung part two, lah. Yeah, it's yeah. Like I him. have to. <laughs> <laughs> I have to <laughs> You I, have to Jung <laughs> in, in, a, in a way I have to Because no one else Is is going into it uh, in, in In a In a respectable Manner If you look into MBTI You try to learn about stuff You, you look into where? MBTI Oh MBTI Okay Myers-Briggs in, okay. Into Myers-Briggs And like You get some feel of Like a, a, a shallow feel Of the, the The functions But not like how you can improve yourself <coughs> through that. Right, mm. right, right, right. I can totally relate to this because, right, <coughs> it's like <coughs> it's like me watching YouTube, right, with fake bullshit, right, and you're like, I want to do real shit, mm-hmm. and then you like do it based on hate, and then it sure works, man. Right? Yeah, always works. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not based on hate. It's based on necessity because like necessity as well. <laughs> No one else has, has has approached it in a way that okay, you can use this to develop yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay? And you, you like like the way it's being approached as like, okay, you just uh take a test. Right. 
know who you are and then <coughs> like um, uh, you don't know where to go from the there end. right yeah. the end right but once you know your type you can actually structure your your self development process after that if you know each of the functions right mm. right and which are your strengths and which you should we should you which you should like actually uh Uh, you you can kind of mold yourself. You can subcontract to other people, you know. Oh, I see. Because okay. when you know your weaknesses, if you're good at something, yeah. If uh. you're good at something, do it. If you're not good at something, subcontract. Oh, shit. Partner with people who are different from you, and who are cognitively different from you, and they can fill in your weaknesses. Which actually ties in into your current. Uh, I don't know whether I can mention this. It's your your project with your brother. Can you? Yeah. Oh, which ties in into that lah. <laughs> la. What, what project? Is yes, it? correct. I see. Okay. I see. I so see. So me and <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, this on, on air. Yeah, 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 my younger brother. Wow. To me, he's still the kid playing tennis too. Oh my god. Fuck man. He played tennis man. Oh, he's yeah. grown up man. He's grown up. I'm fucking sure. I'm. I'm bet he's taller than you. Which I find <laughs> he's, hard to he's believe. He's my height. Huh. About my height. Yeah, maybe a little bit taller. <laughs> Dude, I have no yeah, shame like in saying man. Andrew's taller than me, bro. I'm a short <laughs> motherfucker. I'm the shortest in this room all the time. All the time. Don't worry. It's okay. But is that how you kind of grew into that? Is that why? Yes. Yeah, slowly, that slowly, I grew into that business. Let's get into that. Uh, I, I do want to get into that. I okay. don't mind getting into, into okay. that. But let's like, okay. like, okay. like fill in a few gaps. <coughs> so that whole process of reading various books and then understanding that there is a, a gap. Right, as mm-hmm. Jungkook would mention, there's a gap. Mm-hmm. You fill in the gap, and then you realize actually that is a, a solving of a specific issue within personalities in a way, right? That you wanted to solve in the first place because you were so cr- like I was so curious about uh, personality, but there, there wasn't an avenue to 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 read. There wasn't existing information in the world yeah. enough that I was satisfied, right? So I gotta go create it. Truth be told, right? I honestly think, right, the MBTI test, right, the Myers Briggs test. Mm-hmm. Honestly, people do the test, right? They know what's the personality. Uh. They scroll down, right, just to see, uh, that they are like George Clooney. Uh. Then they're like, yeah, wait, I'm like George Clooney. Uh. What? Yeah, wait, I'm like Nicole Kidman. Uh. Actually, no, it's yeah, all right. I'm you like might, Oprah, you know. <laughs> then you feel good about yourself. If, uh. No, if you do that, you'll be disappointed because when I scroll down, I got like Taylor Swift or something. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with Taylor Swift, it's quite successful. Uh. <laughs> But I think that's a lot of what majority people do. Like, they look at the stars and the famous people and then they kind of like, yeah, I'm like that. Uh. Yeah, so so that's what I'm saying by by being very surface about it. Like you just compare yourself to celebrities and things like that. You don't think about how how you're gonna take the next step, take the next step in improving yourself. Right, right, right. right. Okay. And they're very horoscope ish. <coughs> yeah. You feel like they will tell you things like, "Oh, you're a leader, but you never settle for anything less than you." Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Never settle for yeah. anything. Yeah. So okay, so <laughs> it makes it seem very heebie jeebie and yeah, very like very astrological <laughs> and things like that. But the framework is actually legit. It's Is founded by this guy. Yeah, okay. He he just left it. Unfortunately, young gravy man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what? I I don't know whether you're allowed to disclose it, but uh, what's the name of the business and what is the description of the business? Okay. So, uh, we started Enlight Consulting in April of was it? No, sorry, July of 2020. Ooh. So I'm the founder and chief consultant of Mi Consulting, and my brother is the s- co-founder and CEO. Mm. Okay, what? There's a separation of of roles in that I'm more internal and he's more external. He creates the environment for me to do what I need to do. One thing I'm proud of uh, about myself is my ability to create tools to solve problems. I'm okay. a creator. Okay, but I can't. I don't want to go to a bank, man. <laughs> right? Yeah, not recommended. I don't want to like create a bank account. I just don't want to go to a bank and deal with the those processes. People, right. So yeah. that's why my brother comes in and he goes to the bank for me. Nice. <laughs> and now so we have a bank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> subcontract your weaknesses. That's how we do it, right? Okay. Uh, and like consulting does uh, <coughs> HR consulting. Uh, For for businesses with in 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 line with psychological aspect. Okay. Okay. Uh, our vision is to make uh, the Clang Valley a less shitty place to work in. That's the tagline. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I want to call you. Bro, Drew, right? I was inspired by you. I think it was episode thirty eight or something like that. When when all of you were complaining about HR. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> There was one episode where you you Poig- you Poige and John 
were like, like fuck, each oh, other. fuck each other. And I was like, okay, I'm I'm waiting for Drew's response to this. Like he's the only one who'd have a balanced response no, fuck no, to no. this. Fuck it, Charlie. <laughs> 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 I don't know, like, even Drew, even Drew has like fuck uh, HR, dude. To this. <laughs> fuck it, Charlie. Actually, oh. since then, I've met one exceptional, exceptional, exceptional you know, if HR his name, person. I'm gonna hire him. Fucking hire him! Yeah. <laughs> Heaven knows he deserves it. What's his name? <coughs> Nicholas Lim yeah, Din Chong. His name is Tommy. Tommy. Mm-hmm. Where the fucking go, Tommy? Tommy what? <laughs> Where the fucking Tommy Hall? Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Don't laugh lah! <laughs> he's a great guy! Yeah, he's fucking good dude. <laughs> Why is he good? It's because he's not just the wanker who puts blame on other people. Who makes you feel like shit. Who niggles your salary downwards. No, but yeah. he did to me lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, like, what you were discussing that day during that podcast, like, uh, like, HR is a corporate shield. It doesn't... Depend. Correct, correct. Huh? Pass me the bottle. <clears throat> Yeah. Like HR is a corporate shield yeah, It doesn't yeah. defend the, the, the rise of the people And things like that I do want to change that in Klang Valley Because it's difficult to survive in KL KL and Klang Valley is difficult to survive Right And people like Businesses are taking advantage of People who are desperate 100% okay? Right And I want that to change And I want it to be a win-win for both sides Right If you can If I can <coughs> I, If I can enter the inter- industry and I can make people work better and I can make people work to their strengths in with regards to personality and that would that would impact the employer and employer will be happy right so employer will be more willing to like uh, give people some flexibility la. like not not like treat them as 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 people as different personalities if right. they understand personality and why and how you should structure your company and how you should allocate jobs in line with personality and to allocate teams who work well together wow actually if you think about it right, it goes up to efficiency in chemistry again right? <laughs> yeah. oh man so oh, like my oh, background oh. in chemistry does <coughs> like oh. make me quite ne- technical about this la, right okay the way I approach personality uh, and like HR is like I have like I'm creating tools where you you can understand uh, your subordinates and who they work with right and uh. some personalities work well with certain other personalities mm. but of course vice, vice, versa. Vi- vice versa right sure okay? but I can tell which personality wi- works well with it is good to pair with other personalities. Sure. You don't want it to be too similar where you you work so well together, but you have the same weaknesses. Ah, yeah. I see. Mm, so yeah. you're not you're not you're not getting anything done, mm. but you like you you jive well together. Sure, right? sure. And you don't want it to be all the way in the other spectrum, <coughs> where you guys cover all all aspects, but you just can't click. Sure. Mesh. You so want something in the middle. Is this a product? Yes, it's a product that's a it's a tool that's supposed to yeah. automate all this. It's yeah. not you I'm stepping in and interviewing. It's a service that they are willing to. Got it. Got it's it. It's a got tool it. like <clears throat> it's a report, like what I would do for for hmm. Prism. Have Have you heard of Crystal? Crystal? Yeah. Math. No. Uh, okay. It's a platform that. Is it like a HR thing? Yeah, <coughs> it's. I'm not. I'm not googling this right. Um. <laughs> It's basically a tool that uh, allows employers to analyze their employees' personalities Mm -hmm. based on a very super fucking comprehensive survey, which I've done before. Okay. What the fuck? It's absolute garbage. Okay. It's absolute garbage. Yeah. Um, There is no so what. Okay. Okay. So that's, I guess, where where the difference is, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is a huge factor. The so what is. Exactly. It's literally what Myers Briggs did, right? Mm -hmm. The test is just that. It tells you, hey, Taylor Swift, and okay, now so what, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that that test that I did was also, you know, it's like all employees take it. (laughs) And then it's a fun fact. Hey. hey, 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 Fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. This is who I am. I don't want it to stop at a fun fun fact. It's it's a waste. Application. You had to use application. Yeah. This one. Or this fun fact. Yeah, cheers to that. Yeah, sure. I need to Google this fucking crystal shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck! I didn't know they had it already. But I, I guess so. I went far. I, I went far down the rabbit hole into my uh, into uh, Jungian psychology and oh, ended up here, where crystal knows. Yeah, you gotta use it for something, lah. Right? 
you got to you like based on this knowledge you got to use it for something you want to you want to structure your teams yeah. in a way that they are more cohesive efficient yeah right yeah. that's 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 where i come in oh it's a free person that does a- it was ai it's it, uh, there's a it's free on the surface and then they they give you an in-depth okay, analysis okay still also uses my my brick so that's that's yeah. something so uh, a fun fact for you to know i guess uh, quite relevant uh-huh. yes um but yeah Sure, maybe I, uh, maybe they do have a sword. Maybe I just wasn't clear on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, to be fair, uh, I just know I took the test and it was uh, there. There was no sword. What after that, lah? Right. Okay. Mm. Oh. So that's that's why I'm so frustrated with the way mice and breaks and people who are like utilizing mice and breaks. So so to clarify, a company would hire you as an agent agency mm-hmm. to assist them with their HR solutions, basically. <coughs> yep. Okay. As a con- uh, as a third party consulting, lah. Right. I see. And we'll consult. Uh, we will consult towards the 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 higher management, and at the end of the day, they make the decisions, lah. Sure. Right. But also, like when we get in touch with people, uh, with with this higher management, it has to be a conversation. Yeah. Right? What What do they expect from? You us? can't be so hard headed as to. You, I I can't like push like okay, this is the way <coughs> you you're gonna do it, right? Okay. I gotta ask like what what do they see in their what are the problems they're having. Right. What What do they see uh, that can be improved within their organization? And maybe I can suggest to them. Okay, maybe I can uh, improve it in this way. I can make your teams more cohesive. I can restructure your teams or something like that. Right. Yep. In order for all the weaknesses to be filled up, be filled up with by, each other. by different people, while the team still being mm. cohesive. Okay. It also helps with hiring process because I feel yes, like if hiring, you hire hi- hire people, hi- then you kind of have the gauge of the personality as well. I, I I would say I would say less on the hiring process because like you can't like hire or fire someone based on their personality. Mm. You should not, right? But when you fit them into teams, that's when it becomes more helpful. Where it brings the best fit, out of them yeah. As well. You you need to bring the best out of your 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 hire, right? So you want your yeah. teams to be cohesive, synergy. Uh, we talk about synergy <coughs> where, where uh, in a team, synergy means that when when two individuals work together, right, <coughs> the outcome is more than just the sum of these two the people. The two parts, yeah. Two parts, okay. Sure. And that's why we look at and and that's what I wrote my thesis on actually. Oh shit! In help, yeah, correct. Uh, in my master in management psychology, right? I wrote my thesis on that and. Uh, I propose that that you can improve synergy if you can make personalities work together, uh, mesh better. Hmm. Yeah, as simple as that. Hmm. But the the thing is, I I am the one who can actually assess accurately and and make these conclusions for you, where yep. where you don't have the the expertise and knowledge to do so, which it took me like like two years to learn. <coughs> Shall we have a fun activity with Chuck now? <laughs> right? That's what I was exactly going to go to that. I'm like, so if that's the case, right? <laughs> can you kind of know what our personalities are? I know both your personalities because <coughs> I've been with you guys for, for a long time. What's right? mine? Yours is an ENTJ. ENTJ? Uh? Mm-hmm. Let me just Google Andrew, that shit. you're an INTJ. One. Wow, we're just E and I, but NTJs? Yeah. I'm so not, not surprised. There's, there's, a lot, there's, there's a lot of difference between an ENTJ and an INTJ though. Right, because uh, you, John, as an ENTJ, your dominant function is a judging function. That Whoa. means that you make nice. decisions better and more quickly than most people. Okay, and you, Drew, as a perception dominant, your dominant NI, which means that like very future oriented, and very mm. uh, out out there. But you, you perceive a lot of things. You get in a lot of I- information, but it takes you longer to. To make a decision from those information, you had no idea how long I took to decide what car to buy. <laughs> <laughs> you had no fucking idea. Actually, I thought it was a Libra thing. <laughs> <laughs> it took a long time, even by my standards, it's a mm-hmm. long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, <clears throat> an INTJ and an ENTJ <clears throat> are similar in many ways. Yeah, you're both gammas, which means that people of the mountain. Yeah, it includes me as well. People of the mountain. People of the mountain. Sound like okay. I'm gonna back up a bit. Fucking airbender, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck? I'm gonna back up a bit. So there's 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 four groups of personalities. So from sixteen, you can split them into four mm-hmm. groups. Uh, you have alphas, you have 
deltas, betas, and gammas. Okay. Okay. On this side of the spectrum is are the people of the mountain, and on this side of the spectrum, on the alpha side, are people of the marketplace. Okay. Marketplace meaning that there's a lot of interaction going on. There's a lot of things going on, mm. and you need to deal with a lot of different things. Sure. Mm. Okay. And mountain meaning that okay, you're you're secluded, you're by yourself. Like I'm, I'm gonna f- like all in my craft, right? Okay, that kind of thing. And I'm not gonna bother about what's happening in the marketplace. Okay. This sounds like a pretty bad thing, though. Like like we don't care, man. <coughs> I'm just waiting for an answer. Never mind. No, I'm just absorbing it. Like, like I'm making a decision. <laughs> <laughs> Slow to make a decision. Yeah. Maybe, right? Okay, okay. Before you go too far, what is chop first? Uh, or you? What we'll, we'll, like, let me explain. Like the the four okay, okay. four okay, four sure. this ones, and then we we we'll categorize chop. Poige is an ESFP. So uh, how how fucking confident? You really know. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then you have the two people in the middle, right? So the delta is in the marketplace, but his motivation is self-development. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know it's a little bit diff- diff- difficult to grasp, but like he, the marketplace grows, and he grows with the marketplace. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. But his main motivation <coughs> is personal development. But he knows that for him to attain personal development, he needs the whole. Marketplace to grow with him. That's okay. Delta. Okay, good guy, great man. Okay. My okay. brother, my brother is a Delta. <coughs> okay. Hence stock investment, all that. Mm. Oh, makes yeah. sense. Marketplace. Oh. Right. Okay. So, the beta is in the mountain, but it's motivated by community development. That sounds oh. like me, actually. Ah, uh, really? I don't know. That's interesting. Okay, but you you likely to keep yourself. And but but your main motivation is development of the community, but you develop it from afar. Mm. So my my girlfriend is a beta, right? So she's like most of the time she's she's in like solitude, like she's on on her own. She comes down to the mountain to like cure sick people and then goes back. That's it. <laughs> Whoa! As a doctor, right? Fucking hell! Mm. Wait, so are you are you saying that actually I'm in the market because you said that that's quite surprising. Uh. Okay, since you're an ENTJ, right? Uh, you're you're actually a gamma. Your maximum mountain. mountain. Oh. It becomes a little bit tricky when you're an extrovert gamma, because extroversion means relationships with other people. Yeah, who do so you talk to in the mountain, bro? I don't know. I do the yodel. <laughs> 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 yeah, look at the mountain. So yodel, yodel, yodel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's a, a bit funky for like like extroverts in the mountain, because uh, they 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 want that relationship with people, but but they're also like like you have your craft, John. Like you're you're alone on your own quite quite often. Like like with your editing, editing, and I guess in some way, like some can say can say a lot of that. But but you're you're all about craft, and that's what gamma is about. I see, I see. Okay, mm. but whereas and. But my craft is kind of odd though, if you think about it, because it involves a lot of the marketplace, it involves a lot of uh, a community-based mm. craft. Right? No. Un- unless it's a, it's a craft that I work on alone and I just like, ah, fuck it, let everybody watch. Maybe that's why. Uh, like. that, no, so that's <coughs> where your... Your, uh, your uncompromising about doing things your way. Am I right? Uncompromising about doing things. I'll say you're right. I'll make a fast decision then. Yeah, your fast decision. Yep. <laughs> no, with Yamcha sessions, you want to do things your way, right? right you see. don't want like other people to butt in and tell you what what yeah, you yeah, want to yeah, do. You're very right. adamant about that, <coughs> right? So that's a very gamma attitude take, mm. right? If you were a delta or alpha, you'd be like, oh no, I'll do what's best for for the community. Someone else tells me that this is best for the community, I'll do it. We're best putting this podcast though. Just pointing out there. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's enough. fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. This is a lot of content. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> but uh, do you guys understand the, the shock? Sure. Yeah. Right? right, okay. Shall we take a break and like assess shock? I have to take a break, or not? <laughs> no, I mean, let's, let's make it lighthearted. Oh, light, okay, okay. Light, okay. Light, sure, light, sure. Light sure. You are the mountain folk. <laughs> shock from the mountain folk, really. Dude, I work in, so, shop, I work in Shopee and I'm still a mountain folk. 
<laughs> by definition, I should be marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, but Shopee is legit marketplace. Yeah, I do exactly. Yeah, marketplace, but um, I don't know much about you, uh, Andrew, and 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 how you how you like handle your your day to day job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's. But, uh, you don't have that exposure to it, but so you know me for. I know, and whatever. and a lot of things are environmental as well. I'm not saying right, that everything right. is everything is cognitively set from the mm. from the get go. You can learn things, right? It's just that if you play to your strengths, you do you better, learn la. things faster. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. So right. What's, what's this guy? Oh, no. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So in order to you determine your your type, mm-hmm. I need to ask you three questions. Wow. Only three, ah. Uh? Three. Fuck Myers Briggs, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck your yeah, question, bro. Yeah, that's like eighty, right? I think. But these are pretty hard questions. Oh man. fuck! <laughs> What's your purpose in life? Is though? your gate on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on. It's on. Okay. Okay. Hey, Chuck, come talk to Chuck. I know you were thinking it. Hey, Chuck, come talk to All right, here we go. Okay. First question is. Uh, past, present, and future. Mm-hmm. Uh, where does your attention most drift towards? Wow. Okay. In percentages, you need to tell me. Like, for example, like 5% past and I don't know. 20% present and then the rest. The rest. Yeah, 75% future. I don't know. Yeah, in percentages. <coughs> oh, in percentages. I'm balls deep in the future, bro. 99.5%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking in. I'm, I'm, I'm at a deficit. <laughs> I'm <at> a deficit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a lot in. The past and present more than the future. Is it? Past and present. Mm. My mm. man, can, can, my can, can, man. Can, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, man. <laughs> can you give me a breakdown of that shot? Breakdown of that. Oof. But it also depends on the environment, right? Yeah, yeah. And the context of mm-hmm. what I... At rest, la, on a Saturday. La. Let's make this a Saturday. Yeah, it is a Saturday. It is a Saturday. It is a Saturday. In Satapa. <laughs> Saturday in Satapa. <clears throat> hmm. Bro, if it's okay, Saturday wait. is a tough part for me. <laughs> 99% present, bro. I mean, future definitely not. I can't even think what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Answer's always Jojo, bro. Okay, la. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, let's see, ah. Uh, 30% future. Mm-hmm. 40% past and... 30% present Okay it's Quite even Alright It's quite even <coughs> I, I'll, I'll take it uh, Second question is uh, Self-development Or development Of the community Where do you In what percentages what? I know you both Are personal development Right Oh I'm personal development All the way Yep okay. Balls deep there So too. but don't Don't mm-hmm. Don't contaminate sure. His answer Contaminate mm. I think 60% community, mm. 40%. Sounds about right. Okay. Self. Sounds about All right. right. The last question is how good are you are uh, at uh, making decisions? Are you like decisions, decisions is all perc- day? Is that a percentage with this? Like? Or are you decision paralysis? It depends on what it is, I guess. Dinner? Dinner, okay. like fuck. Paralysis. Paralyzed, bro. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let, let's try to bring this forward. Are you a journey oriented person or a destination oriented person? Ooh. Let's say you mm. let's say you were on a drive to Penang, right? Uh-huh. Okay. The destination is Penang, you wanna get there. Sure. Right? Mm. You wanna get there as quick as possible, three and a half hours? Or are you like, oh let's let's have left let's, let's have take a, the scenic route. Let's take the scenic route, right? Stop in Ipoh for some ho fun. <laughs> Right, Drive an estimate Have the time of your life <laughs> Oh man uh, if, if that's the If that's the context yeah, yeah. Then is Fuck it Let's go Penang As fast as possible uh. As fast as possible uh, If that's the Penang context uh, right. Okay Let me try to work this out Right I gotta go drink soup soon But I really wanna know this answer <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I think I think your last last answer was a little bit shaky, so I like but I'm I think a bit confused about that. Okay, I think the journey depends <coughs> on the who's in the car. Yeah, yeah. I feel like ah, you're a journey person. I think actually. you're a journey person. Right? I actually yeah. feel like you're a journey what? person. You always talk like, about like if I am going to Penang alone, then fuck yeah, you, then just all the way lah. But oh no, yeah. you're your people with this. Oh yeah, with people. Then yeah. it's the journey lah. Definitely. Journey. I think you're like ninety percent journey, bro. Oh yeah, bro. 
one hundred percent. Okay, all about the story. So that yeah, yeah, that's true. true. Okay, yeah. okay. In, so in that, that context, clears that's things true. up a little bit, right? Mm. Okay. So, uh, it it looks like he's an alpha. Okay, very marketplace driven, very uh community. In specific. Wow, this is so fucking sad. Yeah, <laughs> fucking love it. People listening to this. Bro, I'm being judged. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, but I have to take you through. Take you through this, right? Um, no, it's fucking fascinating. Though. Yeah, it's very uh, interesting. Ten, like very balanced on top. Like I. Uh, oh, it's a little bit difficult. Way eh? community, and community and perception dominant. Split. I see. I see. This ad is brought to you. Right. <laughs> 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 alpha is alpha, but I can't really pin it down, uh. right? So there are four different personalities in alpha. Mm-hmm. Okay, namely I N F P. Oh, sorry. <coughs> INTP, ENTP, uh, ESFJ, and ISFJ. There's five, right? There's four. There's four. Mm. There's four. But you're quite balanced in terms of uh, <coughs> your time perception. Time perception is actually quite an important uh, question, though. So you said, uh, wha- how, how many in the past? 30% past. 40% in the past. 40% in the past. <coughs> and? 30 others. 30 30, yeah? Mm. Okay. I put you as an an ISFJ la. For now, you can go check that out. My man, isn't that the same as me? No. Oh, you're you're an <laughs> INTJ. I'm close though. It's only one INTJ. It's an ISFJ man. INTJ. Oh, there's two letters difference. <laughs> oh, that's upsetting. Half season. So the last <laughs> time I did the test, mm-hmm. I got INFP, I think. Hmm. I don't even know what the letters mean la. I just know what I stands for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> same, same, same. Either extrovert or introvert. Yeah, that's all I know actually. Mm, <coughs> ISFJ, ESFJ, INTP. Could be INTP also la, if you're no, but you would be judgment dominant though. Uh, John, John, what's judgment, judgment dominant? Judgment dominant is quick to quick to decision. Decision, decision, decisions all day. Nah, I'm fucking terrible at it. No. <laughs> 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 No. So, but are you good with the community? Like, like definitely. Like, like, or you know, okay. If if this thing needs to be done, right? Okay, I know someone who can do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right? Yeah. That's how we so, got the future. So I think. Yeah. <coughs> so I think like ISFJ, you should go look it up because I could be wrong, uh-huh. right? But <coughs> the only way to know if I'm right or not is to look up the description of an ISFJ. And to see whether it resonates with you. And pass through the celebrities part because otherwise you'll be like. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I think the relationship part of it is quite telling. INFJ. ISFJ. 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 Yeah. What's Poige? Poige is ESFP. ESFP. Mm-hmm. Is he going to be like Hitler or? That's a, that's a like gamma. Huh? That's also gamma. gamma mountain out. folk. Yeah, mountain folk. <laughs> E, so sorry, E. But mountain folk in a way that he's like very, very towards his craft. ESFJ. His craft, yeah, oh. ESF, ESFP. P. Right. Very towards his craft. His right. craft is speaking and 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 storytelling, right? Sure. He's Feeling, balls, prospecting balls in, into, yeah, in, into that particular craft, right? I'm but I don't think he can go to the bank either. <laughs> I told you don't look at like the bank. fucking celebrity. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> la. And I am ENTJ. ENTJ. <laughs> ENTJ. Mine is Adolf for sure. <laughs> INTJ <laughs> Extroverted Intuitive thinking no, And judging You know who's the best Celebrity you know? Anne Hathaway bro. I knew it I knew I, I was <laughs> going to say Anne Hathaway I don't know what the fuck What stopped me from saying that shit Okay, okay So but But, but I, 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 I could be wrong mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. This is an initial Like assumption mm. Right The only way to prove I'm right or wrong Is for you to go into The descriptions And learn, learn about the type mm. And see whether it's, It resonates or not Okay Then you can say that uh, Okay I'm wrong because you know yourself yeah, more. I could try to. Mm, mm, yeah. yeah, you 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 know yourself the best. Yeah, definitely. Right, not 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 me. So then you can tell me, and th- I I can say like, okay, 
maybe I like like go check out this other type. Maybe you resonate with that mm. rather than this. But what does all letters stand for? Uh, so I we all know lah. I and so, e. so I what uh? I and E introvert extrovert stands yeah. for introvert. No, but yours is I S F J S F J. They got same one in in Google. What what is I S F J personality type? An alpha, introvert alpha. What the fuck, bro? You gotta give me introverted, sensing, feeling, yeah. judging. Okay, so uh, the the, the first letter is yeah, hundred percent all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so the first letter, <laughs> <laughs> the first the first letter is is I versus E, right? Mm. So introverted is extroverted. Second letter is uh, sensing versus intuition. Okay, I think I'm an intuition. Okay, intuition means that more towards uh, uh, words and abstract things, linguistics. Oh, then maybe I'm the other guy. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the third one is thinking and feeling. Simple enough. Oh, then okay. definitely. Right. Okay, uh, and the last one is judging, perceiving, which doesn't say that much, but uh, some are more organized. The the P types are less organized, and and the J types are more organized. As for traditional. Uh, Myers Briggs. Are you a perceive? And is Andrew's per? You J also right? J, but he's so the J and P has some uh, complexity to it. It's in percentage terms of breakdown, I think. No, in terms of naming. Oh, Myers and Briggs got it wrong. Well, okay. Fuck Myers and Briggs, though. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. Fucking yeah. family. Because God damn it. Because like, in the traditional naming, right? Like a J means. Uh, judging or perceiving, but why it is in in terms of the letter lettering, it comes out as like organized versus disorganized. Mm. But what oh. judging and perceiving really means, in Jungian sense, is that whether you can like quick to make decisions, I or are you more observant? Oh. Mm. Okay. So that depends on your dominant function. For you guys, it, your dominant fun- function is a. a a perceiving function. That means you take in yep. more than you make. So he's a P la, He's not a judgment la, actually. But th- but that's but because Myers Briggs. The, the naming the naming is we still follow Myers Briggs because like they are the most famous. Mm. I see. Although they're fucked up la. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They are assholes. Are yeah. So a lot of shit is going on in the <laughs> in in the space mm. where like this kind of naming naming difficulties are, are apparent, right? Uh, but for you, ENTJ. No, I think right, spot on, your judging is spot on because, like you, you are like. I, I just want to do lah. Yeah, just yeah. do. I mean, make the decision. Like, ask for forgiveness later. Wow, I don't know about that lah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm also. A <laughs> <judge>. <laughs> or don't don't ask for forgiveness at all, right? I feel like I would make decisions in order to save time only, because mm-hmm. I feel like time is very precious to me only. But of course, I would weigh it out in a very like generic sense mm-hmm. like surface level just like more or less which one is the the, the, the better evil la. then I pick that one la. yeah so but but still you get to the conclusion really quickly yeah yeah, yeah. am I not right I don't yeah. want to harp on it like I, I'd yeah. rather play rock paper scissors decide where's dinner la, basically yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah so me and you are both uh, judging dominance uh, huh. you guys are perception dominance team 95 there, 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 are, there are always uh, strengths to to any personality, right? If mm. you're perceiving dominant, right, that means you take on more information, and by the time you make the decision, right, you've got a lot of factors thought about by the time you make the decision. Yep. Mm. And for us, as judging dominant, uh, we make the decision quick. We save time, right? We ask for forgiveness later, right? We make the decision first. It's wrong. We fix it. Yeah, mm. sounds about right. Sounds about right. Sounds like Boy Gay as well, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah that one yeah. definitely point you. Mm. Maybe, I think there's actually a percentage breakdown. One. It's, you're not just completely polar as to one part. One, right? yeah. I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure you're like 30, 70, 40, 50, 40, 60, the type it's of shit. It's situational, I feel. Yeah, some, yeah. some things are more important. Because I'm not a risk taker in a, in a <laughs> way. I, I actually don't like risk. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of things like, that I'm, the decisions that I make, I choose <laughs> to, like, like I said, that, what's the lesser evil? Or what's the better evil? Yeah. That I, I decide on that yeah. <coughs> versus the, the whole instinct make a yeah. decision that I think about. Okay. Don't get me wrong, like each type has full grasp on all eight functions. Okay. 
so you can develop eight functions depend like this is where the situation comes in right mm-hmm. so you like in some situations you rather you you would do better doing like a, like having a certain kind of uh outlook on it right okay and all types have access to all eight uh like parts yeah, of, yeah. of your <coughs> condition okay it's just that what you do better with right like on a day to day basis on what you should improve and what you should subcontract sub- 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 how, how do you how do you mesh all these personalities like if let's say let's say it's a company of let's make it 100 lah mm-hmm. how would you break it down and make the ratios appropriate in order for them to like have that appropriate synergy that's the real question because it's them tough way 100 people different uh, departments mm-hmm. different uh, work scopes and then yeah. how do you link it all up because for example if Uh, Andrew is working in Shopee, for yeah. example. And God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> right? And he's, a, he's in Shopee Pay. Uh-huh. Right? Me. Versus someone who is in HR that uh-huh. works really well with him. But Andrew's like, hey, fuck HR lah. Fuck this bullshit lah. Except Tommy. Except Tommy, right? Right? Except Tommy yeah. lah. <coughs> but Takan, you pull Tommy into work with Andrew, <coughs> right? You so how so you... Okay, it's, it's, it's very complicated that way in that <coughs> sometimes you cannot change the, the job role, right? Yeah. You need to work with certain people. Right, yep. but if it's big enough that that you are able to split into two teams, for example, there's that like, give me a job function, like a job role, like a team, like a team uh, of of people doing sales. the same things. Sales, okay. Let's say sales, right? There are ten people, okay. You want to split them up into uh. two two teams, right? Like for example, uh, like in Konoha, right? You <coughs> have the like like a, a four man four man team. Yes, right. You have Kakashi, yeah. yeah, four men cell, right? You have Kakashi, you have Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura. And, and Sakura, right? The whole plus okay. part, yeah. So, like in sales, you have two of these teams, maybe two four men teams, sure. right? You want to structure these, you want to oh, arrange these, oh, oh. like inner shi- inner 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 shiko cho la. Yes, exactly. Sorry. You want to make every team an inner shi- inner shiko cho. <coughs> yes, correct. Oh, Ino, Shikamaru, and Choji are like three people in Naruto that work very well based on their generation. Yeah, like their parents will work very well together. So yeah, that's why historically as well. Yeah, historically. But so in that's this how they sense, I'm arranging you based on your cognitive framework. Sure. Mm. Not mm. not your keke genkai. Yes. Oh. Mm. Or maybe it is. Oh, guys, I sincerely <laughs> apologize. I have uh, in-law duties to to please, attend to. Please, please, yeah. Mm. Gotta drink some soup. How how? Yeah, watch the rest of it. Two. Yeah, I'll two. be thoroughly entertained. <laughs> Watch. Wait, I'm gonna grab the bottle. Just thinking. I need to let him out. Are we having a pause? Hmm? Are we having a break? I guess pause? so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me read up on this personality. <laughs> let's have a break. Let's have a smoke, man. Okay, let's. Yeah. Let's have a smoke. Yeah.